Welcome to True Island Stories. This is the Chris Royal story. Part one. The early years. In the Jamaican Geographic, the mere mention of the name Coke, especially in the Western Kingston, is enough to send shivers in the spine of men, women even. Even today still, and their history is ornamented with a royal legacy culminated by their dad, Lester Lloyd, Jim Brown Coke, and transcended onto his seed baglins, Camille, Jati, Dudus, Corn Pipe, and Chris Royal. Corn Pipe? Hmm. I will do his story soon. The Forgotten Son. The Good Son, he's called. The real decent, hard-working individual of the family. Not the only one. I bet you never know that the last thing that Jim wanted for any of his children to do was to follow in his footsteps. What? You thought he sent Jati to Willemers? And, and Camille? Well, I refuse to call her Sandy because she has renounced that name. And we and T.I.S. will respect her wishes. And I urge you to do the same. Her brother Dudas. And her both to Arden High and Chris Royal to the prestigious St. George's College. Though not as prestigious as Woolmer's, I heard, as history will indicate. But, nevertheless, I let that be that. Hmm? You think him send them to go learn badness? To get a degree in a shoot and kill and top flick flick is him? No. He sent them there to acquire top tier level education and walk the streets of success with their heads held above the clouds. But instead, kids are impressionable, and we do live what we learn as juveniles. Oh, oh where were we? Oh yes, Chris Royal, whom much is not really known about. So let's peel back the layers of one of the prints of the Coke Empire. Christopher St. Aubin Coke, a.k.a. Chris Royal. He attended the prestigious St. George's College High School in Kingston in 1994. He spent five years where he left with a few subjects in 1995. And the word left is the operative verb in the active voice. In this sentence, one which we will revisit. Bro, bro, I have no time or inkling to explain to you what operative verb in the active voice mean. I refuse to babysit the unlearned who listen on in earnest. But I bet I'll force you to improve your literature before the night draws nine. Chris's best friend was a youth named Shelley Dunluth. Two of them pass straight. And they call him Shelly Dundas because he was dundified. No, well, he had extra light skin. We know what a dund we call Dundas in Jamaica. And let me tell you that's a racial connotation, so we should stop it. But Jamaicans, we don't mean anything by it. We just call it Dundas a Dundas, and that's how we see it. You understand? I just saw what thing said. You know, yeah. A bridge and see and we are love. And um they call Christopher by his last name, Coke. Yeah, s -s spy I eat lunch that I don't do. Up a canteen around a Nigel, asks Chris. Marshall up out, you know, so where the Marshall out up a canteen today, you know? You know, say me leave to one more cocoa, but uh, me and a man tell me, say them smell dark and I roast up there early, but I joke, 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 I joke. I saw you go on, you know, don't do so. Go easy, man. We like for to nick your last day, man. See that in there, boy. It's all right. Eat till you hold you, yeah? All right, cool, man. But yeah, yeah, me still, uh, yeah. I don't want a bread here to eat this. So, I mean, I don't trust a dog in something there, said Chris. A char, man, said don't do so. Anything I do, my boss, that's nothing here, sir. 
Ah, I don't say a hood, man. I run a Nigel then, yes. I out from the front. Nigel was a beloved patty vendor who sold patties, breads and buns, juices, etc. outside the school gates. Because vendors weren't allowed on the holier-than-thou diocesan property. And this is a pic of Nigel on your screen now. I heard he passed a couple of years ago. R.I.P. Nigel, enough you with your fed, enough poor people pit me, enough rich people pit me too. So big up yourself. We do care anywhere you're there. In high school, Chris was very jovial, very humble personality. And you'd be surprised. You couldn't even tell he was a member of Jim Brown's feared conglomerate. Though he was feared strongly by students and teachers alike. But one thing could be said of him. He never ever used that fear of him to his advantage. No, not once. And could I say that of some of you had you been afforded those same privileges? First of all, Johnny. Me, me know you work off a principal data and a vice principal data. And nobody couldn't give you no chat. All you bubal. <laughs> Yo, when you get your maths or English test, you're not a circle, not one answer. You buy a multiple choice paper. When the test paper come back, all I teach them, better have them answer correct than that. You see all you say more, you leave my attack, you know. Remember, cause you are hoping that, like I said, Donald Trump is for your papa. And you, Shana, you have me call your thief in front of them, go and go thief out them pains, Brazilian, you care about Congo, you for your home, go sell it, for your half price, your friend, them in a year. So, nobody attack, so, you know, Lord, you, you have that, me, I tell you. <laughs> but, all fun and jokes aside, Chris, did humble and quiet, man. All he is a laugh, man. And he's a man who could have rolled in that thing, you know, what? How's your queen? The man pile off your face. Alright, you see I'll salad a kick by the corridor, lunch time. The man him say a regular him should be true boy in the honey. I make man have to hide go home when them go in. Cause they beautiful and pants but you well dirty up full about a dozen different shoes print. You see me I say a big kick. A big salad him give boy. Yeah man, he will play ball. He be skillful. At judges his classes were 2B, 3B, 4B and 5B. And the teachers who knew of his background usually look the other way. I mean, wouldn't you? All right. All right, them say, Zoo, Chris, I'm on way. All he's having teeth brushing in his back pocket. Yeah, man, for clean off him desert. Car. What for him desert? I feel clean, you know, man. You see me, I say, you see him John Sport bag. All he's a swing across him shoulder. What? When the clock, you yeah, remember him now, play. Yeah, you see all them khaki pants uniform and him short, clean and neat. Nasty and team thing, brother. Ah, you see him and Shelly doing those? Touch on an Nigel, lunchtime. Alone, brother, and party to them thing. We can't clean and back through that go. Ah, yeah, you see a man, you see him friend them, not have lunch money. If he buy cook food, him not eat no cook food. And more while, ah, him a buy them Bread and patty at the same thing there. Bad man eats. Yeah, man. And Chris was not big yellow snider, you know. Or a judge, you know, despite his royal bloodline. And for my viewers and subs who have never heard of St. George's College, it's a prestigious all boys high school, one of the oldest in Jamaica. And it's mostly attended by the rich because of its prestige. And it's high grade required pass mark to get in. Hello, oh, and it's exorbitant school fees. And it just isn't a school for the poor people picking to attend unless you earned a scholarship academically or from sports. Or you pass the required test to get in. Yeah, Chris, I don't want to get this or not. Them, them, I'm there, I like all baby G, you know. Chefa, or King Jamie's son, that time. You know about a grade above, you see me? Chris, them time there. Eh? Well, I you wouldn't even fly the fuss. <laughs> yeah, them man, it was key. Yellow, I swear. Aye, the man, the man, him say, yo, 
No man them say if you chew up a thousand pum pum in a ear, you know. None of them not drop a gong before. Fly the and chef them slap off every thing, brother. You should not have man to go and touch South Camp Road, out of bus stop. Alone, Alpha Gala sent you to girl them to them perpendicular and the old perpendicular. Who no look here now, man? Remember good now, man? You think St. George's and Ulmer's man, them play, man, and KC, man, them, man? I know about the JC, man, them, man, up the sign of blue. Me I tell you about wrong pan the barrel, wrong them side there. You understand? Run a hero circle, come back round to half a South Camp Road, there, so. Now play it for them badness. You see me? And, um, on academics, Chris, wasn't the brightest bulb in the ceiling, it was said. He made average grades, which made him a mere passenger to fifth form, which didn't grant him graduation privileges like many, but rather something on the low tier known as valedictorian. And this was just a service reserved for those who just, and I mean barely made it to fifth form. I mean, what's the fucking point, <laughs> really? All you're doing is just reiterating the fact that I wasn't good enough. And you know what? Thanks for reminding me what a piece of shit you turned out to be. What a huge disappointment. I think to note, though, did you know that Chris never got into a single altercation while at school? Never! Well, there are several sides where that could be frogly dissected and looked at meticulously. But let's just give Chris the benefit of the doubt here, huh? Come on, guys, what are we doing? After Chris left school, very little was known about him, other than that he was the don of Rasta City in Tivoli Gardens. And Rasta City is at the entrance of PWD in Tivoli. And he himself or the Rasta's Covenant. And you can come to Tivoli Gardens High School and continue straight across and you end up in a Rasta city, in a TG. That's a pic right there on your screen, look. You see it? Mm, colorful, isn't it? But as summer knocked on autumn's winter and one day led into the next, so did Chris's life with extreme obscurity. And he was never one for the limelight or fame, it was said. And he was very close to his older brothers, Liberty and Dudus, but more so to Liberty. And he was very close to Zion Tree, and he loved him. Maybe Chris went on ops, maybe not. And one thing's for sure, I'll not make anything up or speak anything that's not verified facts. But what we do know as facts, the way in which he lashed out after learning of the untimely death of his close friend, ally and mentor, Donovan Griffiths, a.k.a. the infamous top flick flick Zion train. Chris Royal went off the rails, which was totally uncharacteristic of him. He acted out of pocket and impulsively carried out an unsanctioned hit that, like lemon snickets, led to a series of unfortunate events. For all and sundry, we have come to the end of part one of the early life of Chris Royal story. Join us for the finale, the fall of Chris Royal on Twilight Stories channel. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself. Lisa Goodup, thank you for your contribution to the channel via cash up. I oh, yes, big up everybody. Big up all our top tier Patreon them. And I say big up all our lower tier Patreon them. Big up every subscriber. Big up everybody. And look out for the autobiography, The Darker Side of Paradise. Coming soon. Spotify, iTunes, and all the stores, online stores. You won't, you won't regret it writing story as i said it will make you laugh it will make you cry it will bring back nostalgic feeling in jamaica when you were kids when you grown up it will take you through your stages in life a 
I'll bring it to your living room. Trust me, you'll just have to support the movement. And if you love TIS, you will cop this. You will cop this book. It will be worth it, I promise you. Over 30 episodes. So you must know it will be value for money and you'll have it for a lifetime. It means so much to me, to my community, to Island Stories community. Big up on yourself, youth and youth. Stay out of the badness, stay out of the street. We can't talk it enough. Sometimes I run out of words, but I search because I know I say the mission is incomplete. And the other day, we get a story for do. And I never did this story. It's just a story about a youth from South. And I get the picture. And I get the picture with him and his son. Person asked me to do the story because that person, though he's no longer with us, saved his life and make him come out of the badness. But he had a son that was in the badness. And I never get to do the story. Come never have enough information. I know that the same youth were dead with the Dan and Nannyville. That are the same youth, the son. So that is one that got away. So you see the mission, so maybe if me did do the story, you would have hear it and maybe is that sweet and maybe not what you think. I think we should have still do the story. We didn't even have enough information, so we can't even do a story without enough information. You would name Chris, um, Chris Magnum from South. So if anybody have no story now, info with Chris Magnum can give me. I'm a kick up in badness, you know, and him son, the name Ray, my dead. But they done a shanty town. If me they just do the story, me would have hear it. So when a life like that lose, you know, I feel awake, I could have done something, and I never get to do nothing. And, you know, this is a of life, you know, brother. I want to get her from me, you know. Jaja. If you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance you might end up on two island stories. What will you choose? Georgia. Step up. These are the moments when everybody gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self-defense no matter what. These are the moments when every gangster gun loaded. We know instigate violence, but we believe in ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, FP. Question What will you choose? Lego the gun a company TIS news. What will you choose? Cry peace all day in the field. What will you choose? Lego the gun a company CVM news. What will you choose? Choose, lose, lose. Don't say that with the touch. Nighttime, them run out fully dark. Guns on one another, everything a sparks. But who are the piranha? Which one of the shark? Moon and black rims, but the cat same soft. And I estimate the pass and then get the milk pack. Screamers and white dream and them a war. Whole place fuck up from them gone with the boss. Scare them rich dream and rock man dark. Whole place someone from them like a playboy. When the man drop and who get the joy? Panty eyes, your turn star. But what will you choose? Lego the go that come panty eyes lose. So what will you choose? Cry peace or day in the field. What will you choose? Lego the go that come and see the M news. So what will you choose? Cry peace or day in the field. What will you choose? What will you choose? Oh, what will you choose to, uh, what will you choose? Charlie uh, up black down rock foot Mikey Pelp, dead in our boat No no drop but him badness a good Jet Lee, make enough man fear for God 
Chubby dread and pogo out of sock Nothing more than you enough man in mouth Junglist them we kill you then go burn down your house See you not entertain me not thump none no more hey. You do the crime then, you do the time Can't escape, you can't blur the line I choose the fifth and tear off the sign And you can't mix up dukes man with up a film Marcel put more loan assassin One more shot to the court by the bing Rock court rise the four and the god that I sing What will you choose? Lego the gonna come and TIS news What will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field What will you choose? Lego the gonna come and see me M news What will you choose? Choose, lose, lose